everybody. Uh, welcome to this edition to Mind Your Own Business. I am out on the back patio. I am um, doing a quick demonstration of how you might consider using uh, chat, uh, and that's chat open AI, um, to be your business consultant and partner. So think of it as an additional Vistage member who you can talk to. So um, first thing, let me give you two points that you should know. Number one, chat has data, uh, historical data, out to 2021. So 2022 and 2023 are not in version three, which is the current version. Version uh, four will have 2022 and it debuts in a couple months. So know that take everything with a grain of salt or a block of salt even. Um, at, this is a great way to, and this is the second point, think about this as a great way to do first drafts. It's gonna do some research, it's gonna put it in a form that makes sense. So the first question I ask is, how could my winery in Arizona, Flying Leap Vineyards, use uh, AI in my business? Okay, so I'm doing some research and I'm doing a research on AI, using AI, which is kind of interesting. And by the way, I'm Mark Barris, owner of Flying Leap, member of my Vistage group, all around wonderful human being and brilliant business person, gave me permission to use his company. So here, um, chat says, here's several ways you could use it, uh, predictive analysis, quality control, personalization, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so good first line research. I then asked the question, uh, who has the best predictive analytics uh, AI engine for a winery? And they then recommended vendors. I did a similar thing here saying, how can I use AI in my winery for quality control? Since it recommended quality control. And here, image recognition, chemical analysis, predictive analysis, etc. Then I said, what vendors? Uh, and it gave me vendors. So here, it's done the research for you. It's gone out, searched the world, and as of 2021, this is its advice. All right, let's keep going. I asked about supply chains. As I said, I might use that. Here are some great vendors for that and what they do. And so if one of these interested me, and I'll show you that in a minute, then I could dive deeper. Finally, sentiment analysis, which is a social media function, which is one of my backgrounds. So I thought I'd dive deeper into that. Sentiment analysis, um, they talk about it. They gave multiple brands. I picked Brandwatch and asked, how does Brandwatch work? So I'm interested in more on something it said. Now, three levels of data, right? How can I use it? deeper on each recommendation, and now deep into one brand. So they data, they filter, and they essentially tell you sentiment analysis, how people are feeling, how positive or negative are perceptions of your brand and parts of your brand. Uh, and it measures through social media and other things. So um, really cool tool, really important. Um, and now I can say, wow, this is something I can do. Um, then I went, well, what type of businesses use Brandwatch? Now I hit the brick wall. They say consumer goods, financial services, blah, 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 blah. So I'm certainly in the consumer goods and the retail business if I'm flying the leap. But it's a little bit uh, more superficial. And so this is where I go, wow, I'm now interested enough. I am going to talk to this provider and see. Uh, and I asked specifically which distillers or wineries and they say, AI, hey, I'm topped out. I can't really tell you it's possible. Uh, and then it gives you, you know, this is what um, the benefits could be from this. So here in just a few minutes, it took me longer to talk about it, frankly, than ask the questions. Um, so here's what I recommend each of you do uh, about your business. Number one, so number one, come up with a list of questions that you want advice on. 
sign up for chat AI. It's free. There is a $20 version, which I might recommend gives you uh, bandwidth during busy hours. And I would ask them these, ask them the questions. Um, it'll code for you. If you need coding done, it'll write a letter, you know, here's my sexual harassment policy. Um, please write a letter to this employee who's violated it. And you paste it, uh, the details in there, the policy, and it'll write the letter. So it'll do a lot of work for you that used to take an hour, two hours, three hours, research, et cetera, and turn it into minutes. So you can work better informed, you know, be better, be faster, and be cheaper. So that's it for this edition of Mind Your Own Business. I wanted to show you a practical way to use this. It can also be applied to every other discipline, HR, marketing, you know, employee performance, you name it. So there you go. Have a wonderful rest of your day.